Hey guys, welcome back. Sean here with a video review of the Illusione 68. It's a Nicaraguan Puro, which means there's the wrapper, binder, and filler is all Nicaraguan tobaccos. It's a good chocolate brown cigar. No hard, soft spots. Overall, pretty good feel to it. it has a nice, good triple cap on it. I don't know if you can get that, but it has nice, nice supply of triple cap. The uh, little story about the 68. The 68 is the year that Dion was born. And it's also, he calls it a happy number, which I don't know what that means, but there's probably some deep meaning to it to him. That's also a homage to Paul Gehrman, which was one of his idols that he was looked upon whenever he was a tobacconist. So uh, I'm going to cut it, see what we can do with it. Has a really good draw, not not too thick, not too light, a little bit on the thick side, but it's still good. Tastes like a little bit of raisin in the pre-light, but has a nice tobacco, little little raisiny taste to it. Overall, good draw, good cigar. Let's see. Toast it up and see what we can do with it here. First thing I get is a little bit of, a little bit of pepper. Nothing, nothing over peppery. Being Nicaraguan, you think you get a lot of spice, a lot of kick out of it. Nothing, nothing overpowering to it. But let's see how it changes as we get into it a little bit. When I first started smoking Lusiones, I had a lot of the larger ring gauges. This is early in my smoking career. Never really care for them so for a while I didn't smoke illusions at all just didn't care for them everybody try them try them I just didn't like them I always you know put them away no I'll pass but then here a while back I started you know trying the smaller ring gauges as well let me try it and here recently I've been loving the smaller ring gauges the Holy Lance you know the 68 you know good cigars and this is part of my second or third 68 and I really like this size the PT Corona size is good for a short smoke you know Something you don't have a whole lot of time. Good smoke. Doesn't cost you much. They're about MSRPs, about five twenty-five. You know, nothing going to break the bank on. Good smoke. So uh, let me uh, smoke this a little bit, and I'll get back with you in just a little bit. See you soon. Hey guys, I'm back. Got my buddy Joe here, and he's happened to be smoking the same cigar. I'm about halfway through it now, and it's holding pretty good ash. I'm about about an inch or so. It's a little flaky. Got some nice white ash. Pretty decent little burn light on. I got a little bit wavy here and there, but it's raining pretty bad outside, so humidity's kind of kind of messed with us a little bit. But it hasn't gone out yet. Still got a real good draw. What do you think, Joe? Oh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it has a nice draw, like you were saying, and it smokes real well. I mean, with the humidity, you know, it's burning good. I just ashed mine. I had about an inch and a half ash on it. Doing real good. Yeah. Uh, like you said, draw's still good. I'm getting a peppery black pepper not a strong spicy pepper like a lot of Nicaraguans have it's more of a smoother creamier no pepper to it nothing nothing real harsh I know a lot of people will you know shy away from a Nicaraguan cigar because the pepper they don't like pepper bombs I don't like them either but this right here is just enough that you taste it but it's not enough to blow you away I'm also getting a little little bit of tint a little nuttiness maybe a little raisin in it nothing too bad but it's still still burning good smoking good Smoking, got a lot of good smoke to it, but yeah. We're gonna go uh, work a little bit more into it and uh, we'll let you know how we're doing. We'll see you soon. Hey, we're back and I'm just about done with this. I got maybe maybe an inch or so left, maybe not even that much, and it's 
Still holding the ash. Yeah, you know, about three quarters inch now, maybe an inch. Right about before I pulled the band off, I got a lot of creamier, more creamier than it was before, almost like a caramel cream. And then once I pulled the band, I was I was smoking it. Yeah, I thought to myself, what this is odd flavor, and it come to me just out of the back of my mind. It tasted like dry banana chips. I don't know where it came from, but it just made sense to me. And I'm saying it, dry banana chips. Call me crazy, that's fine. But after that, it, it died off pretty quick, and then got to like a roasted nut taste. Now I'm I'm just about done with it, and it hasn't lost its ash. Still good holding ash. Great burn. Still good draw. How's yours going, Joe? Good burn. I mean, I have the look, getting to a little bit of the caramel taste now. Smooth, real smooth. And that's, that's the thing. I mean, a lot you can get Nicaraguan puros, and they're some of them pretty harsh. You know, they got a lot of power, a lot of flavor. You know, but there's still a lot of harshness to them. It, if it has a lot of flavor, yeah, you, know, you can kind of deal with it. But if it has a lot of harshness to it, it kind of kills it. And this, this right here, the smaller ring gauges are working for me. The larger ring gauges, I still don't. You know, still don't care for them. I'll look at them every once in a while, but this, I'm loving this petite Corona. And uh, I also like to thank the cigar shop in Bluxy, Mississippi, for uh, sponsoring these cigars here. And uh, thanks, guys. They're great cigars. Anything else you got to say, Joe? No. Well, like we like to say, nothing beats nice tight ash. <laughs>